Now let's look at SysX message editing. Uh, like everything else, we have a full name and a nickname. To select the SysX message we want to edit, we just go ahead and scroll up and down or we go to our picker list where we can drag and drop and do all of the same things as before. Save, insert, delete, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and edit number one. A SysX message itself uh, has really 17 things you can do. <laughs> the first is connect it to another SysX message. So right now I have it set for no link, which means when I trigger this SysX message, it's going to it's going to send over the MIDI channel all of these uh, commands that I program in, all these bytes of information. Uh, and then it's not going to trigger anything else, so it'll just end and the command will be done. However, if I select a command, let's say link number two, what it's going to do is send everything that I have programmed here, and then it's going to go to sysx message number two, and it's going to process all of the messages there. So pretty straightforward. And that allows you to create sysx messages or multiple messages that work in uh, tandem with each other. Now. A SysX message can actually be multiple messages. It depends on how many bytes of information you need. Uh, there are two ways to program SysX messages. You could type values in hex if that's how you have them written down or a decimal. So as an example, uh, a typical SysX message starts with an FO flag, F0 flag rather. So I can go ahead and just start typing. If you're going to type in hex numbers, I have it programmed so that you add an ampersand h for at uh, ampersand hex and type in a hex value. If you're just going to type in uh, let's say 240, a decimal value, uh, and hit enter, uh, you notice it typed in the same thing. Now down here it gives you kind of a cheat sheet, so the hex value of what I typed in was F0 and the decimal version of that is 240 and uh, again same thing. So you go ahead and type in your commands uh, again, I could do it in uh, hex, or I could do it in decimal. And then, typically, you finish a command with an F7. And, uh, oops, so type in F7. So here's a sysx message. doesn't mean anything. It's just made up. Uh, but uh, it would be F00. 0 7C1 F7. And again, you can fill it up with other information if you have it. But that's how you create SysX messages. Very straightforward. If you want to use this message, uh, let's say in an IA slot, go ahead and uh, just p pick your SysX send and then give it a message number that you want to send. So I'm going to send message number one. That's it, you're done.